is ages. That's why you can't start it, the uh, Family Federation. That's not where it ends. But the ultimately, what we need to do is to build the um, Chongyuguk, which two parents desire to build. Okay, let's take a look at the history of humankind. There are three points in the history. Okay, where first Adam sent Adam. God sent Adam. Should have been, that's the end. But because human beings fell, then God had to send yet a Jesus. And yet, still, this was not accomplished. So then, finally, God sent the second advent to parents. What's important here is. Okay, we need to understand like this. There was a um, idea of creation but because of the fell. So then human beings fell below the level of the standard what God is on. And that's the human history. So then the problem is how can we fix this? this uh, we had this foundation there. The seven years ago, we had foundation there. So what's the meaning of foundation there? It's because two parents came and then uh, the falling history was restored and then in the human history in, then we have to reconnect to the point where God wanted to create in the beginning. So then we need to um, solve the problem of the fallen era and then connect God's original purpose of creation and continue on to create heaven and earth, uh, heaven, and, I mean, heaven and earth. So this is the point where we stand right now. So then, it's in, so then the history is beginning at the point as if the fall didn't occur. So the history of fall, this is the picture of the picture you saw earlier from the side. So how we can restore what's fallen. If you look at the red arrow, this is where you get witnessed. The person who are far away from God, slow down the speed of the fall, and then turn and then climb toward God. This is a very difficult process, and then witnessing is not easy, because we have to U-turn the direction. So another difficult point is at the end of human history, okay, we have to go through the hole which we fell in. So the orange arrow is where the unification church have trotted. So then we pay indemnity and we climb up one step at a time. And in order to start God's original ideal of creation, we need to uh, turn from the, the way they, um, the life of indemnity to turn the um, arrow and go through that, that hole, hole that you fell in. So it's like um, turning from Old Testament to New Testament. And then we have to do changing of blood lineage, sentient to parents. We need to be reborn into uh, the people that God wants 
unless you can do that, we cannot leave behind the um, fallen world. So, not just go through this hole, but that we need to begin the lifestyle, life that God desires. So, then we have to go through. We have to again uh, have this turning point into the green arrow. So then the people, many members who went through uh, life of faith through Unification Church, now we are going into yellow. And we need to go through this point in very short time. So you have to make this, you have to change our concept in a short time. So we don't have time to really explain so long. That's why your mother is asking, please you know with me, please understand me and let's build uh, Tomio Group together. She has no time to really have deep explanation. Your father spends so much time to really educate us, to train us toward America, Japan. He invested so much, so many years. But the point of turning around, we don't have so much time. What we need to do, um, I mean, there are people amongst our members who are successfully, who are successfully made this turn, turn around, and there are some people who are struggling to make this turn around. Earlier, President Dunkley just said, um, the explanation about your parents' tumor was really amazing. So if there's anything I need to add is why your parents are important, so wonderful, is that your parents are the people who receive the first love of God. That just is everything. When the love that God motivated him to create the whole world, the universe, uh, create a man, a human being, and that was because God wanted the children to ex uh, experience that first love of God and then germinate it to let it grow. So then by inheriting that first love, then we can truly inherit God's love. So unless we have true parents, we cannot experience the true love, the first love of God. This is the really amazing content. So then through receiving the first love of God, through true parents, then we can become good parents. So this unchangeable, eternal true parents are the true parents. Okay, this is important. So why it's important between my relationship with true parents? Because that's where the first love of true parents uh, dwell. And true parents really substantiated that true and first love of God. So that's So now it's in the Tong uh, book. Uh, we started in 2013. Well, we, your father has said many, many times during that uh, foundation say can instantly can flip and change. But that's given when your father was on earth. But before that could take place, your father ascended. So then we need to have some uh, amendment or change in that plan. So then how, ha what happened is, so same time, uh, your mother declared the Tony uh, Uguk on the foundation day. But even though your mother had declared at the same time in 2013, most people couldn't really understand what she was doing. And then most or any members couldn't really understand 
but the body and position to mother and so forth. So then to mother had given us seven years for us to change and accept this. Okay, so that's the purpose of Vision 2020. To mother really um, attended to father's um, grave for three, um, so many years. And actually, we needed to change into um, foundation of the Chongyuku instantly, but it took us three, I mean, seven years. So then she gave us seven years to prepare us so that we are able to enter Chongyuku. So as individuals and also as blessed families, we were uh, practicing our life of faith. But then, but we were registered, we were able to finally register as the citizens of Chongyuk. So then, in past seven years, to mother, that's, that's what they did. That's what she did. So sorry, it's in, the PPT is in um, Japanese, it's really easy to understand. But again, anyway, foundation of two parents' um, victory, that she established Heavenly Parent Holy Community. So on this, we save individuals, save, save families, and then we will proceed, march on, until the, vision, uh, the victory in 2027. So we have seven years until 2027. So what we need to do, oh, this, the year 2020, this whole year, the whole world was whole world was to be transformed or experienced rebirth. Okay. So from now on, we're going to build a heavenly, heavenly united Korea, and then heavenly uh, nations. So we have these three, uh, three stages. So as we welcome this new era, how do we prepare? How, what do we need to do to prepare? So in, how do we prepare to unite with two parents? So this is something that I mentioned earlier a little bit. So we need to avoid the last trap in the wilderness. So I will share with you when we have time in the future about the trap in the Canaan. But today, I want to talk about the last trap in wilderness because including yourself, your parents may get cut in this trap. Okay, the top green is Egypt, it has long journey, and then enter into uh, God's, um, God's father. The yellow is the God's um, father. So the blue is the trouble in the wilderness. So Israelites who left Egypt, 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 uh, Egypt. So because of long period in wilderness, they became tired, they became faithless, then they couldn't unite. So, um, their people, uh, Joshua and Caleb and Levi, who united with Moses, and their other group who were accusing and rebelling against Moses. And then when that happened, they became sick. So during this wilderness, many Israelites 
So because I don't feel comfortable with this new thing, new concept, I want to reject. Actually, God wants to make us grow continuously. So then God's、um, instruction, God's order, is always have some discomfort. Of course, it's good if you really welcome with comfort all the orders that God tells you. But many times it's like, no, I don't want to do this. No, this is not comfortable. So when you are confronted with this, are you going to reject because you feel uncomfortable? Or you make a determination, okay, I'm going to accept this and I'm going to follow God's way, even though it may, I may not feel comfortable. So you have those choices. So, what is life of faith? This includes the first gen and also the blessed gen. So, I'm not sure if you can really feel this when I do this online. So, when I actually say it face to face, you know, physically, then you can really see the inner limiter. So, life of faith is sometimes when you start, then actually you go down. Some people have this kind of pattern. So, the star you see is the realm of God shining. That you see this dark blue because life of faith, many times it's in darkness. Some people they go up and down, up and down, and toward the end, then fall down. That's really unfortunate. They've been trying so hard, but just, just before the finish line, just run out of money, I mean, run out of energy. When you think about、uh, your study analogy, it's kind of funny. Some people are like this. Oh man, that was so close. I almost made it, but then because I gave up. So you reach my, oh, I can't do it anymore. You reach your limitation and gave up. So, this person really faced the limitation. So, this person didn't really see from what God really wants, but just looked at his own energy or strength and then felt, oh, I can't do it anymore. And he gave up. What I want to suggest to you all is this. Uh oh, it just finished. <laughs> What's important here is in the early point in your life, you need to go, you know, go past this darkness, you can see God. Because so after that, even if you kind of fall down, but because you have seen that light, that star, that purpose, then you have again motivate yourself to go try again and again and again. Many Christians do this. Many born again Christians. So when they were born into the realm of Christianity. But then they lost it. But they had some opportunity, some chance, some incident happened, and they remember God, their relationship with God, and then they go back. Actually, many second generation go through this path. Of course, it's good that if you don't fall all the way down, and then, you know.、Uh, but anyway, I want you to understand so that. What's important is while you are young, you really touch the realm of God. It's so important to experience God. Like, yes, I can see God. I experience God, even if it's just one. Yes, I understand. I understand your parents' love. Please have this experience while you are young. 
So this is so important. So there are different paths in life. There's right and left groups. Which group do you think can really reach God? So the left side seems like that they, God, they, don't, they don't go to God, right? But what about the right side? They seem like they're going toward God, but then can every single one can actually reach God? Actually, no. Because each person has their own individual dreams. Then they want to go toward God, so that's not God. But why? Why? When you really go forward with your own dream, you may fall. Because of this environment. So human beings are fallen. And we're in this fallen world. And you want to, before you go toward uh, the original world, we want to build the kingdom of heaven. So the goal that we want to reach, the kingdom of heaven, and where we are now, actually there is this big cliff. So if you ignore this cliff, what's going to happen? Why do you need lots of faith? Life of faith is because God built the bridge right here. The only bridge. <clears throat> so some people say, so, oh, I don't have, I don't see the bridge that they turn around. So, but you don't try to go to God according to how you want it. But we have to go to God going through this uh, one bridge in front of you, you know, lining up. So because there's two parents at the end of this bridge, then you can security walk this bridge to go to the other side. This is the life of faith. <clears throat> So then, are you saying, oh, we need to give up our own dream? No. Actually, after you pass this cliff safely by going across in the bridge, then once you get to the other side, you can go and pursue your own dream. Because this cliff exists, um, the age that uh, Adam and Eve fell, like you know, teenage years, maybe early 20s. So there's a tendency for many young people to leave that at that age. But so instead of just uh, by, by hope sticking out and then going across the bridge, then you can be safe in God's realm. <coughs> Sorry, all these PowerPoints are about this. But anyway, please understand this point. That we need to cross this bridge together. So when you cross this bridge, you please know there's two parents standing on the other side. So what your mother is telling us is, please remember this children spirit the love, the filial love. And then please have the filial love toward the parents who receive the first love of God. So before you can be proud of, proud of, oh, I'm such a great person instead of God. But please know Yes, God loves me. We have to become children who can understand that God loves us first. So then using our own free will, then you can do. You can be creative and say, oh, how can I make God and your parents happy? That's the feel of love. That's so beautiful when you use your free will to do things to bring joy to God and your parents. 
So please know you're in the hands of love and expectation and hope of God. This is something I want to convey to you in the beginning of this new year. So please know that we are in one line lining up toward God and Jesus Christ. So this is all I want to convey to you this morning. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you so much, President Hori, President Taichi Hori. Yes, we are so grateful um, for your words of wisdom and for sharing with us.